Hello everyone, welcome to The Home Cook, where today we are going to be attempting to see which is better versus scratched and boxed cornbread. So to start out, I'm going to be oiling two pans, which I'm going to be making one boxed cornbread in, and one where I'm going to be making the homemade cornbread from scratch. So I'm just using basic Jiffy cornbread mix for this. Um, for the first part of just doing boxed cornbread, uh, I tend to do two boxes of Jiffy, you know, just double all the ingredients off of one box, and then you're going to bake it for the same amount of time you do for the cornbread from scratch. So it's a very easy recipe. Uh, just put the Jiffy in a bowl, add some milk, add two eggs, stir it together until it's nice and formed into a dough, and then you're just going to pour it in the pan and well, we're going to wait until it is until the scratch one is ready before we put it into the oven. Uh, they're going to cook at the same temperatures, which is 400 degrees for about 20, 20 to 25 minutes. I did 25 minutes because I put them both at the oven at the same time. So here we're going to start with one cup of yellow cornmeal. This is going to start our cornbread from scratch. Then you're going to add one cup of flour. Uh, two thirds cup of sugar. You do not have to do this step if you use cast iron to make your cornbread, as the cast iron is going to sweeten it with all the fat and whatnot that it holds that's been caked onto it. So, here you're going to add three and one half teaspoons of baking powder. It's going to help it rise and uh, really give it that, I guess, cornbread look and feel. Uh, you're also going to do one teaspoon of salt. And you're going to add all of these ingredients, all the dry ingredients first. You're going to mix them together to have them all uniformly formed. I added a little pit in the middle, and then I added one cup of milk and one egg. Now you can use one third cup of vegetable oil, but I decided to go with one third cup of butter. Uh, it, it definitely gave it a lot more buttery, um, more rich taste uh, than a traditional cornbread and it definitely had a lot more flavor than the regular cornbread. So here we are just incorporating it. Uh, being that I added it so late, the butter, it definitely took me a second to mix it and get it all uniformly in, but as you can see, it is fine now. It has a lighter color than the boxed cornbread, not nearly as yellow looking. Uh, it looks more like a, like, like a dough or like a cake or batter or something. Batter would be, the, I guess, the right word for it. So here we are, just kind of put it in there, smooth it all out till it's kind of even. And there we go. Now we stick them in the oven 400 for 25 minutes. And once they're out, use a toothpick or however you want to do it, a knife, toothpick, fork, and poke it in the middle. I usually do a couple places just to make sure there's nothing sticking to it to know that it is completely cooked all the way through. So since they are both good, we're going to move on to the next step, which is cutting them and finally getting to try which one is better. Here we go. We have the circular one is going to be the one from the box, and the square one is going to be the homemade one. There you go. We have the jiffy on the right and the homemade from scratch on the left or your right. So I'm going to try the traditional, really spongy, really soft, doesn't flake or break, or break apart too easy. It's definitely good. A little tasteless. Uh, now that I'm mentioning, granted, I eat cornbread a lot, but it's a little it's a little tasteless compared to the one from scratch. It has a much, the butter definitely comes through. Um, it's a lot sweeter. You can taste a little bit more, like of the cornmeal. I would definitely recommend making it from scratch. Cost wise. There, there is definitely a difference in cost. It does cost a little bit more to make the cornbread from scratch, but it is a huge difference compared to the pre-boxed cornbread. Uh, the one that it would make from the one that we made from scratch it falls apart a little more, um, a little flakier than the boxed Jiffy, but it's definitely worth it. Even my brother recommended it. So, thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you want to see more content like this, more verses, leave it in the description bar. No, leave it in the comment section below, and I will see if I can get to it. Thank you so much. Catch you next time.